was Teja, T-E-J-A. I was a machinist mate, petty officer. <laughs> we, our chief come down to the engine room. We're sitting in Norfolk and he says, we're, you know, we're going to North Atlantic. So he says, prepare for cold weather and rough seas. You know, traditionally it's rough up there. So we got, you know, all our running around done in Norway, Denmark and whatever. And then we headed up the Arctic Circle. And it was warm and the water was like glass. And I says, man, this is disappointing. I says, you know, you had us all geared up, you had everything tied down and for nothing. <laughs> you had us all fired up for heavy seas. And it was nice, it was nice. You, you crossed a, a certain coordinates, but what they did, they take the junior officer and the junior enlisted guy. And when we cross over this line, they had to go up on the bow of the ship, there was a, a what they call a bull nose, where your ropes went through, and they actually had to paint it blue. And they had to take the two junior officer and the enlisted guy to go up there and paint it. And that was that was cool. That was cool. And then like everybody on the ship got this big scroll, you know, that says you know, order of the uh, Royal Order of the Blue Nose uh, on this date. The Cunningham went across the the line at such and such time, and your name and it was you know. Big, I, matter of fact, I just had it reframed. Well, when we were up in the Arctic Circle, we were doing, uh, I guess they call it maneuvers. And we had uh, French, we had uh, the Italian, we had the British, we had uh, the Russians, and we were all doing, you know, war games. And, you know, you, every once in a while you'd see a Russian ship, you know, Sometimes, you know, our, our color was green, and one night we were out on a fantail and uh, a green flare went up, and I, I asked the guy, I said, what's that mean? He says, that means a submarine got us. <laughs> so, but, you know, we, we did, we had, uh, when we came out of dry dock, we went down to Cuba. There's an island down there off of Cuba, and we'd uh, do gunnery practice. And that was, that was interesting. And then I was what they call a damage control petty officer. So I was in the repair locker during general quarters. And uh, yeah, it was, it was a lot of, a lot of stuff went on. You, people don't understand what, what really went on, you know, on the ship. But I had a, had a, the one chief said to me one time, he says, you know, if you're really in a war zone, and he says, we take a torpedo hit. He says, because we're below the water line. He says, and your buddy is, is dead. He says, take your buddy, throw him in a hole, put a deck plate on it, shore him up, use him as a gasket. He ain't gonna know. I said, well, it's kind of cold, but he says, either that or the ship is gonna go down, you know? He says, use what you can, 